Hey there, this is TJR, and uh, got a couple updates for you. Uh, plus, the question on everybody's lips, how many songs are on my iPod? I know you've all been wondering. But first, uh, let me just talk about a few quick things. One, last week, uh, the new video in what I refer to as the Led Zeppelin trilogy um, was posted. Uh, thank you, everybody, for your responses and for your comments. I'm trying to answer as many of the comments as I can and your questions as much as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you for your support on that. Um, with all of this talk about this whole Zeppelin spirit thing, uh, I did a while back uh, migrate my in-depth analysis review of Led Zeppelin 1 over to this channel. And I've been thinking about doing the same with my in-depth analysis of Led Zeppelin 4, along with the in-depth review analysis that I did of Elton John's first two albums, and the first album by Ricky Lee Jones. Uh, let me know what you think of that. And those are, of course, on Music Worth Buying, which is the channel I uh, co-host the uh, album review show with uh, music writer Robert Kinsler. Oh, and by the way, if you get a chance, go to Music Worth Buying. And uh, Robert Kinsler just posted a video with his roundup of covering both uh, Coachella and Stagecoach. Uh, that's why uh, you haven't seen any new shows from the two of us. He's been busy with those two festivals, has had no time for anything else. He's back from that. He just left his uh, his kind of his review of some of the best new music acts that he's seen there. So you might want to check that out. Um, now, uh, getting back though uh, to uh, the in-depth analysis, I'd love to do more. A lot of people are asking me to do more. The biggest problem is time. There are a lot of research, a lot of work writing, uh, but I would like to do more. So uh, hopefully I can. And also, speaking of research and writing, one of the problems with making a video like these, the last one I did about the lawsuit regarding Led Zeppelin Spirit, is you do a lot of work, you do a lot of research, you finish the video, you post it, and then sometime later, some new piece of information becomes known to the, what I refer to as the internet conscience, and we all become aware of it through the internet. And this happened with the last two videos. I made those videos, posted them, and then Davy Graham's Cry Me a River happened. Uh, I mean, of course, it had always existed, but suddenly it became generally aware by the public interested in this uh, as this new piece of information. I was not aware of it at the time when I made those videos. It was not, it was, didn't come up in my research, and it wasn't part of the internet consciousness. And then it became part of the internet consciousness. And everybody started posting on those videos. What about David Graham crying me a river? Hey, didn't know about it then, you know? Um, and these things happen. And I'm sure it's going to happen with this new video. Uh, so we'll see. We'll, we'll just see. have to see what happens. Who knows? Um, so now, as for the question, how many songs are on my iPod? Um, you know, I used to have to have this. This is, I think, a, this is an iPod class. It has about roughly, I think, about maybe 200 gigs. And um, I have to carry this and my phone because my music library, my entire music library, would not fit on my cell phone. I had to have one of these. Um, Apple discontinued making these and it upset some music aficionados because those of us with large collections were saying, well, what are we going to do now when these finally give out? Because it's just a hard drive after all. Eventually all hard, all hard drives will eventually fail. And um, how do we carry around our music collections? You know, and I remember at the time I thought, I think what's going to happen is flash drives are just going to get bigger. Apple has already foreseen this and they're phasing these out because soon phones will be able to carry more and more storage. Sure enough, that is what happened. Um, iPhones, I think now are at roughly about maybe somewhere around 130 gigs. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. The one I got at the time was the highest you could get. I think it was about roughly 129, 130 gigs. And while I couldn't carry my entire music library, I found that I could carry the majority of it, and that was good enough for now. Uh, I retired this little guy here and uh, put him on my alarm clock radio to wake me up. And every once in a while, I pull him off the alarm clock radio and sink him to my iTunes, and then find out how many songs are in my iTunes. And right now, uh, I found out in my iTunes is 15,454 songs. And whenever I bring up this particular point of how many songs are in my iTunes, someone always says to me, you mean you spent $15,000 at the iTunes store? No, of course not. 
Um, I've been buying music for ages. Back in the days of vinyl, I bought vinyl, I bought CDs, I have a huge CD collection. I've imported all my CDs into my iTunes. I've digitized my vinyl records and then imported those into my iTunes. And um, so, you know, I don't buy very much digital music, hardly ever. So all my music is from my physical music collection that I've imported over. Um, Regarding that number, there are some duplications. Uh, there are times when I own a, an album on both vinyl and on CD, and I like certain aesthetic things about the vinyl. I like certain aesthetic things about the CD. CD versus vinyl is a topic I need to cover someday. We'll get to that. Uh, but I like certain aesthetics about both those versions, and so I keep them both. Um, there are some instances like the Beatles where I own both the US stereo mixes, the stereo box set, and the UK mono mix is the mono box set because they offer, uh, you know, both offer different aesthetics when you listen to them. And I appreciate them both and enjoy them both. So I own them both. Um, so there are some duplications, uh, but not a lot. So anyways, though, um, I will ask you, how many songs are on your iPod or how many songs are in your iTunes? And this is not a contest. The one with the most songs does not win anything. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. Just thought it would be an interesting question. And it might be something you may have lost track of over time. And so it'd be kind of interesting just to find out how many songs do you own? I realize now that a lot of people aren't really owning songs. They're just streaming. You know, I like streaming too because it lets me decide what albums I'm going to go pick up. But anyways, um, how many songs are in your iTunes? And uh, go ahead and leave your, uh, your comments on that. Anyways, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Um, uh, the only other thing that's in the works right now is I am working on a cover of Everyday People by Sly and the Family Stone. Hope to have that posted soon. I am still working on those songwriting suggestions and you can still post your songwriting suggestions for me. Anyways, take care everyone. Bye.